I'm Susie Madigan, the Humanitarian Policy Advisor at CARE International. Today marks the one year anniversary since Yemen's international airport in Sana'a was closed to commercial flights and Yemeni airspace put under restrictions, effectively trapping millions of people inside the country. So what does this mean for Yemen, which is suffering the triple problem of being the poorest country in the Middle East, experiencing a civil war, and trying to cope with the biggest cholera crisis in the world. Even before the escalation of conflict in 2015, Yemen's medical system was so weak that every year thousands of Yemenis with serious medical conditions were forced to fly to near nearby countries to seek treatment. With the closure of the airport, even that option is no longer available to them at the same time that medical needs are soaring because of the conflict. People are now obliged to drive 10, 20 hours by road, often through active fighting, to get to other internal airports to fly out. The closure of the airport also means it's harder to get in humanitarian aid to the 20 million or so Yemenis who are in need of it within a country which is also facing famine. Care International and other NGOs are calling all actors to reopen Sanar Airport. Preventing commercial supplies and humanitarian aid from getting into the country is only making a bad situation much, much worse for the millions of people of Yemen.